Hey guys, Unbox Collectibles, back for another piece here. Today we have a custom piece. We have a blade on throne. And now, bro, how impressive is this? It is absolutely beautiful. Waited for a very long time for this to come in. It's a quarter scale blade on throne, custom third party, unlicensed piece. Took it a little over 14 months to arrive because it had a few factory issues, Big but it's time. finally in hand. Um, so yeah, we're, 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 oh, I cannot wait to pull this out and finally display it. Blade is one of my top five Marvel characters. Not many people show a lot of love to Blade. I absolutely love Blade. He is literally among my top five next to Wolverine, Hulk, and a few others. So I'm very keen to put him part of the throne um, family and place him somewhere when I find some space for him. But we are going to pull him out today. Yeah. Guys, make sure please, for us, for our sake, for Sofa, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're alerted whenever we drop a new video. And just before we do go on, another quick shout out to Sofa. Slam Collections, anything guys, when it comes to our videos, our editing, the boy does it all for us and mate, well, the videos speak for themselves. Guys, stay tuned, we're going to pull him out and we're going to start getting a look at um, a closer look at Blade. Alright guys, now that we've got everything set up here, we're going to start assembling and talk a little bit about each piece. So, we're going to start with the throne. Now, what I found really, really cool and interesting about the throne, right, it's almost like a homage to, I think it was, you said the first movie? or his backstory right we will show this in detail but up the top here you've kind of got like this pool of blood that then drips down up into the back here which i will turn around to show you guys we'll just make sure that none of the pieces hit so as you can see on the back the blood is kind of circulating and activating in a sense and then again through the front of the throne same sort of deal which i will spin the other way now, what's really cool about that, as I said, it's a bit of a homage to the first movie where he actually falls down into this pool of blood and then activates through that because he's not getting that blood, that serum, so to speak. So that was the first thing I noticed from the throne, which I thought was absolutely amazing. Um, but just the level of detail around the throne, like, you I mean, you've got a lot of skulls there with all the bullets through them. It's kind of showing you that on the way to his throne, this is the mess and what he's had to go through to sort of sit there as you can see even the blood stained chair there all the little markings we will go through this again but you've kind of got some etching there so it's like one two three four five kills confirmed possibly but i didn't even notice that until you just said it really yeah yeah it does so see on there so yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. the amount of kills he's got yep so to me like again <laughs> we haven't even put this together and i'm blown away by it the level of detail on so it. damn intricate the level of detail they've put on it, oh, I absolutely love it. You know, it, it's they've they've really this base does justice for Blade. 100%, it really does. One hundred percent. It really goes through that whole. Well, you think about any of the movies, any of the comics that were made, it's just carnage the whole way through. So it is. that throne really represents that. It is. I, I can't get over the back and the front like this little blood pool thing. It is really cool. It is. Look, this is again a, a long anticipated piece. So we, we, I'm, I'm super happy to have this in the collection, but. I can honestly say they're really, I mean, I believe for bases, less is more for me. Yeah. You know, but being this is one of my favorite Bible characters, they haven't really gone over the top. I don't believe they've gone over the top. Not at all. They've no. added little bits and pieces where they need to, surrounding the base with the little bullet the build, uh, shell casings, the skulls, the little bit of a paint application, yeah, yeah, yeah. which we'll get into the paint in a little bit further further on. Um, but, you know, the skulls all the way around, the, the traditional blade markings that yeah. go around the base. Um the blade markings in the back, it, it really does pay it justice. As if he was to fall off a blood pool, he's gone through battle, he's finished off every single last vampire, and he's taking he's his taking throat. The rest. Yeah. You know, <laughs> on, on his, it, it, it is absolutely incredible. Pretty, pretty cool, man. Very happy with this, honestly. It is. It's great. Um, we'll talk a little bit about the pieces that comes with it. Yeah. There are a few little nicks and knacks, which we're going to figure out where they go in a second. Um, mm, nice. this, this will sit at the top of his base. Yeah. Um, just, just to kind of complete that top look without making it look so empty. Mm. Kind of like a little skulls coming out. Um, Almost like, like a beast. Skull, yeah, it's like, like a, a beast. beast horn. Yeah. You know, that, that kind of finishes off the um, the base quite nicely. So we'll, we'll put that on. Yeah, There's your first one. one here. And the second one to complete it there. They just, and they, the magnets, it is really fits, impressive. At, so far, this fits spot on. There's, it's not loose. Magnets are, 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 are well clipped in. They're good use of magnets they haven't they haven't skimmed out on that which is fantastic um but we'll see the rest of it how we go and i'm gonna i'm gonna i mean 
do we put the body on first or should we I think attempt? we organise the little little intricate bits. And yeah, we'll get that done. Yeah. But if I'm, you know, that would probably I'd, go. I'd say, yeah. You know, I was actually going to say at the start, I thought that was going to be more of a thing like an imprint, like he's punched one of the vampires so hard into yeah. it, but yeah. <laughs> so this piece right here, just to be very careful, these are very fragile. Very brittle. Um, but in saying that, I'm not going to, I don't want to bring up any other pieces or anything like that. But, but that does fit in perfect. It does not feel cheap. No, 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 I, 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 I'd agree with that. Yeah. I definitely agree with that. I'm going to assume, no, not there, maybe here. Yeah, that's Maybe. Yep. Oh, yeah, that could be there. Um, I'll sort that out in a second. Some little hands here as well. Oh, well, that's, that's yeah. Where is that? No, that's not going to fit there. What piece do you have? Maybe some there. Oh, maybe it does. Yep. There it you does. Go. Swing that around. That little hand in there. So this hand will sit right there. Now where's the long one go? Next piece will go right there. Didn't see that one coming, but you put Didn't it right on the base the wall, as the hand before just getting chopped off survives on the throne. That's pretty clever. I didn't think to look there. It was a bit hidden, wasn't it? It was a little bit hidden. Nice. That's cool. That's a cool blood little, spills yeah, over there like coming that. through the throne. Right over this is it is pretty good. That is cool. It is pretty good. I'm thinking we'll sit right on this chair. I don't know how. Oh yeah. Okay. Like that. Has to be like that. Yep. Right there. Um, yeah, your sides. I believe it's like that. I'm going to be guessing. Just, oh, he is kind of semi flush. Um, three which, heads. Yeah, which head are we going with? I'm, I'm not really going to use that one. I don't like that little smirk on his face. Um, <laughs> it just doesn't look very blady to me. Definitely. But can I just add. The detail on the, the, detail back. In the yeah, back of yeah. his head, they've really justified that and really, really caught tattoo. blade there. I love the tats that go all the way around. Um, his hair's cool. The hair is cool. The hair is cool. The glasses, just you want to be very careful with the glasses because I, I, I pulled out before and they um, put a little bit of too much pressure on that. They can actually snap off. Yeah. Um, so just be very careful handling the sunglasses. They're actually very on his well. face. They're not, they don't come off. But very well. I felt a little bit of movement in them, but I do love the um, level of detail in the back of his head there Sick. with tattoo. Really, really nice. I like um, how it's kind of got the transition between, you know, one that actually looks like Wesley and then I, the other I, ones. This, that's yeah. the one I'm definitely going to use. That looks sick. Yeah. That is... That's the OG. That is, to me, a very, very good representation of Wesley Snipes. 100%, bro. So, and because Wesley is my boy and I love Wes, I'm definitely going to be using his head. Um, then you have the um, open grin, which... Again, it's very nice. I think this is the one that was moving, actually. Yeah, here it is. See, be careful. Um, that does move quite easily. And I don't want to play with it too much, but I'm definitely going to go with the Wesley Snipes look because <clears throat> I, mean, I just love Wesley. So we're going to use that head. There you go. Fits in nicely. And then... How does this work? Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, I get it. Okay. Oh, I see. get it. Do we go head? Oh, that's nice. I do. That is really cool. That is cool, bro. I, I probably will go with this one. Yeah. Um, and, of course, in keeping in line with the proper blade, I am going to... Let me just flip that around. Nope. Being honest, let's say 
I would assume. There. Can't go there. Um, maybe take the hand off, bro. There we go. Oh, yeah. And blade with the sword. Um, can I just add, that sword is full metal. Yeah. That is um, made completely out of metal. It felt pretty realistic. It is very if solid. If you sharpen that, that would be a yeah. legitimate Yeah, it is sword. a very, very solid piece. Um, and so is, in Sofa's words, the battering. his battering. <laughs> <laughs> in Sofa's words. Um, his switchblade is, is also 100%. That is full die cast. Um, that's got some real good weight to it as well, yeah. so absolutely beautiful. Hey, Blade Batman. I'm not going to display the gun because, you know, Blade to me is sword. Yep. Um, and I, I love, that's cool. love this. So I'm definitely going to keep in line with this look. Um, but look, I mean, do I want to rate it? I rate it? Maybe I'll keep this, but where does this Blade piece go? Guys, here it is, fully assembled. Um, got on the throne. Now, there is probably... One thing, well, not really, because his ass does sit in the chair quite well once he sinks in there. Just got to kind of wiggle him a little bit. The magnet is not, um, it's not really, I don't believe it's got anything to do with the magnet, really. It's just, just it's, it's, a little, it's a little peg with no, I think it just kind of likes to sit in his groove. Um, if he gets in there perfectly, he will not move or wiggle. Um, the head, everything. We figured out we to change this out. So this actually goes through the top part of his fist. This sword, believe it or not, you can actually push it right in. Um, so which is not usual like you yeah usually they're pretty finicky you know it, I, I put it in before thinking his arm would go there uh, Zach put, uh, mentioned that it might go on top so I actually kind of started pushing it in and it actually went in pretty well hence probably smart idea with being full die cast yeah because yeah, it allows it to really push in there without snapping the actual blade yeah which is very well created on their end um, overall I will honestly say that level of detail level of attention to detail is for me I'm, I'm i'm gonna give this a a, a nine out of ten nine out of ten i will give it a nine out of okay 10. yeah i, I mean <clears throat> as you've said the level of detail you know me with detail man so yeah i i give it a 9.5 let's say i i, I will I, I mean i i don't really ever give a piece of 10 because yeah there's always room for improvement on any piece but for me i'd say level of detail is a 9.10 and uh sorry a nine and that's going around the base yeah the base and everything if I'm going to get to the body, the body itself, from the shoes, to the laces, to the pads, um, to the chest piece, to the armor, to the three little um, zombie killer bullets he puts on the yeah, side, yeah, yeah. it is 100, for me, 9 out of 10 in detail. Again, the level of detail is incredible yeah. when it comes to his body. The Wesley Snipes face portrait uncanny i mean yeah I mean, with, with the glasses on yeah. that's him from the first movie i yeah. i see i see snipes yeah straight out i see snipes yeah, yeah, yeah. um these other two portraits i don't know um then it's more on the comic book scale um not really a fan of mm. that one i just don't like that side smirk I, I really don't like it i don't know why it's just not for me but the um open mouth grin i, I do like that i don't mind that one um, again, just be very mindful of the sunglasses yeah. because they are not really on there quite well and that can pop up. So these will go back in the box for me. Mm. Um, as far as the skulls, the bones, the base and the detail around that, again, we touched on that. That is phenomenal to me. I love the, 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 the sheer mass of the base and how it sits. It really does and pays justice to Blade. Yeah, 100%. I, I mean, if, if I'm going to critique anything, I mean... It's hard to do it anyway. Like, I mean, I can't really take it too much, but it's probably the blood. I would have probably, yeah, I would have found a little bit more of a realistic blood splatter. Okay. I mean, that's just looks like it's a bit forced. Like you're talking on the on the throne and that? Or? It, it is, just a little bit. I mean, okay, you yeah. know, it's just been painted in red. Like a little bit too you much, know, yeah. Like, not, not, not enough of a... There, I just see a little bit of blood. Like, you know, that, that, that's great. It's, it's dusty, that's, so I'm going to be yeah. dusting this a little bit. But that probably needs more of a, 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 a vibrant red. Mm. It's probably too of a dark color, just a little bit more pop. Because you it's know, flowing. That just yeah. looks like a little plastic splatter. I mean, I, I love the concept behind it. I probably would have gone more for the realism side of things. 
um, as we've seen with Wolverine. Bro, yeah, you know? I was just about to bring that so up. We, actually, we've yes. seen like you know Wolverine battle damage, and it's got that real you can tell battle damage. It looks, it looks full yeah, realistic. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. But that that's all I could really say. Apart from that, for me personally, this is a, a phenomenal piece, and the paint application. I mean, paint's not bad. He's got battle damage on his on his arm as well. So I love the level of detail they put in his arm. Do you notice he's little got bullet holes? Little bullet holes. He's got, he's well. got little bullet yeah. holes. Um, paint's not bad. The paint is is not bad at all. I think the face is um, a bit darker than the arms. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah the yeah. face is a little bit darker than the arms, but um, overall, no, this is this is great, and the level of detail in the gun. Very you know, cool. It's it's well done, well structured. So yeah. for this unlicensed company, this is my first piece from this unlicensed company. Yeah. Um, and dare I say that it it hundred percent will not be my last. I was just about to ask you, are you going to be a return customer? I, I, I will. I, I reckon they've done a fantastic job yeah. in this. I, I, I really, up. honestly love this piece. And they've done justice. I've wanted this piece for so long. And no one would ever do it. Um, a Blade on Throne. So they finally made a Blade on Throne. And I will keep this forever in my collection. So props to you guys. 100%. Absolute. Paint overall. Well done. Um, sculpt. The, 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 the level of detail. The sizing. Yeah. I, 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 can't, I can't complain. I really do love this Blade. Yeah. It is absolutely fantastic. And before we go, guys, um, just be sure, hit the subscribe, bell notification, um, show some love and support to Sofa from Slam Collection. Um, it was good having Zach finally back here for a review, which, you know, I, I hopefully moving forward, we can have him here more often if he doesn't act like a little bitch. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> and gets off his rags every now and then. But, you know... It's always, it's coming, buddy, it's coming. <laughs> but it is good to have Zach. But overall, yeah, guys, we'll catch you all in the next video. And much love always. And we'll catch you all very soon. I don't know what he's growing, what is he? Is it my head? Do you want me to look this way? just your Today, we do have a custom piece, a very nice custom piece at that. We've got Blade on Throne. Bro, <laughs> what? What was wrong with that? It's pretty big. It's big. Big bump. <laughs> just put your arms there. Just go, yeah. Bro, look, I don't yeah. know, but it's pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this guy is Batman, basically. Yeah, it's Batman. <laughs> they just forgot the word. You know, Blade, Batman. Blade, it starts with a B, man. Yeah. Batman with fangs. Batblade. Batblade.